I think in the past I've had a very common sort of like, fuck that, I'll do what I want, like nobody attitude. And I think it's just a maturity thing of just growing up and realizing that you don't only have, just even as any individual, you don't only have responsibility to those people that might for whatever reason look up and emulate you for better or worse, but you have a responsibility to everyone all the time. So it really isn't any different than I think I would feel if I weren't in a position of anybody listening to me. What I thought is that it would become a film, and it will, but now it will be the film of the musical, and the musical is of the book. And that just happened when I think there was just a point where I thought, this is ridiculous. Like, why wouldn't I? How can I separate like the music from the story and all of this? So it just became very obvious that that's what would have to happen. And then it was, well, will the film that comes after the musical be a musical film? And then I thought, yeah, that's what people love anyway. Like, that's all the rage is, is film musicals. So why would I not do that? So now that is that is the plan. Everything that was on the album was in the book, so it's like I got it out in that real personal cathartic or anti-cathartic where like now you're more tortured by it, The because he brought it all into mind. I got that out in the book, so what this album was was really my personal challenge of how I could take about a third of the story. It's definitely not the whole story, but about a third of the book of that whole reality and putting it into a soundtrack form. It was more of a, it was emotional very much so, but it was more of a technical challenge. Like, can you really do what you said you could do, which is to make a musical of this whole thing? This is your test. And if you do, will it make any sense to anybody? Because it's definitely a different format. I mean, there's instrumental interludes, there's ballads, there's like all of these things that aren't um, general rock album stuff. I mean most of it would never be up for radio play because like what the hell station would that be on but that's okay it was really just the challenge of can you really do this and let's test the waters of have about a third of this out there get people very much used to the idea of this is where we're going and see who wants to come along hungry for more live music then make sure you subscribe to o2 academy tv so you don't miss out